In part one, I talked about what tennis elbow is, gave some general overview information. In this part, I'd like to talk a little bit more about how it commonly gets started. Though people think the problem is over here, it frequently begins as a postural dysfunction, which is classically called forward head posture. There's many things that will cause forward head posture, but the most common thing is sitting in poorly uh, designed furniture or desks that are not ergonomically set up, which means your posture is not correct and you're holding your body in positions that are faulty and your head's too close to the screen. So forward head posture is when the cheekbone comes forward of the manubrium of the sternum, like that. The forward, more forward your head goes, the more load it puts on the extensor muscles of the neck. So the neck muscles get tight and short. Now that causes a chain reaction because if the head comes forward, the pelvis has to come forward to balance you in the field of gravity when you get up. And that sets you up for a whole chain of muscle imbalances throughout your body. So typically what you're going to get is the head goes forward, the neck extensors get short. With the head going forward, the sternum drops down and it causes the shoulders to round and the hands to turn into pronation. So now what you have is a whole series of muscle imbalances that go from the head and the jaw all the way down to the feet. So one of the most important things to remember is that if your posture is not well aligned, and there's many, many more technical things I could give, but the key thing to remember is as your head goes forward, the manubrium goes down and the shoulder goes forward, and that disrupts the mechanics of the shoulder arm complex, not to mention the chain reaction all the way down to the foot and the ankle. So in my many, many of my courses and books and golf biomechanics manual, tennis biomechanics, manual um, you'll find basic check training um, IMS one you learn all sorts of approaches to this there's lots even in my book how to eat move and be healthy on how to address forward head posture through corrective exercises and corrective stretching so the basics are is making sure that your ergonomics are set up correctly you're using furniture that's not worn out and that you can begin working on correcting your forward head posture by simply laying on the on a stone or a wooden floor every day for about 15 minutes. Best to do that in the latter half of the day because your body settles through the day and retrain your body so that it knows how to reorient itself. The gravity will push the high spot, the kyphosis, out of the spine and help the head and neck drop back which stretches ligaments in front of the spine and gives you a sense of what it feels like to more upright, be more upright so you can practice being aware when you're sinking down. So get your ergonomics set up so your desk is set up right. Practice good posture. Study the resources I gave you so you know what stretches and exercises exercises to do. And in the next segment of this video presentation, I will show you how forward head posture links to rotator cuff problems and how all of these things are part of one big syndrome that's often thought just to be tennis elbow.